So I've, I've read, uh, this amazed me, because you're such a dyed-in-the-wool New Yorker, that you actually kind of are warming up to Los Angeles. No, that's not exactly what I said. I said, <laughs> <laughs> what I said was, I didn't hate LA as much as I used to. <laughs> and the reason for that I'm, I'm was a, basically- I'm a cockeyed optimist. I'm always looking on the bright side of things, Fran. The reason for that was that New York was so much worse than it used to be, that the contrast was not so great. <laughs> That's all I meant. So you think New York is worse now? Oh, I don't think that. I know that for a fact. And what has made New York worse? Um, well, Giuliani was one of the people who made New York worse. <laughs> right? Well, that was a while ago. Um, Bloomberg, his 12-year reign. Um, is, yes, New York has gotten more suburban, which was their goal. Look, I remember the first time Giuliani ran for mayor, his ads, you know, I hardly knew who he was. I was not alone in that. He was a prosecutor before that. His ads basically said, vote for me and it'll be 1952 again. Those were his ads for his first term. You know, he is just soaked in nostalgia, you know, and that is what he meant when he said, you know, Obama doesn't love us. You know, he doesn't love the country like we love the country, like we who are his age, he's even older than me. Um, and it's, it's, a, it's, it's a fanciful notion. What, what, what do you think is behind that, that Republicans want to go back to an era, uh, the 50s, you, you said that, where America was really ruled by socialism? We talked about this a few weeks ago in our show. You mean the economic policies? Because they Absolutely. were left over from the New Deal. But, but that's not the part they miss. No. <laughs> okay? That's not the right. part they miss. The they, part that, you know, what is it behind Giuliani's comments? And like, Racism. You're not allowed to say this. We now live in a society where it's worse to call someone a racist than to be one. Right. You call a racist a racist, they go, I'm not a racist, oh, you <laughs> call me a racist? Right. And, and, and they say the most racist things. Ben Stein, uh, last year during the campaign when it was heating up at the end, said, Obama is the most racist president we've ever had. And I thought, even more than the 11 who actually owned slaves? <laughs> 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 I mean, <laughs> the m most? <laughs> Andrew Jackson killed Indians by hand. <laughs> <laughs> because they were Indians. Because, yes, just because That's it was the, the thing to do. It yeah. was ethnic cleansing. Well, why do you think that Giuliani said that thing that he said? Uh, I, I, he I used don't... to, I mean, he was the mayor of a liberal city. Yeah, he uh, used to be sort of a moderate Republican. Oh, no, no, no. When Giuliani was the mayor, sad. every five minutes, an unarmed black guy was shot in the back. It, constantly. You know, and it was, uh, and it was always a different excuse from the cops. He had something in his hand, I thought it was a gun, it was a candy bar. Right. I had something in his hand, I thought it was a gun, it was a keychain. Well, that hasn't it's changed, something... and that's not just But in New the York. entire time I've lived in New York, which has been many decades, not a single unarmed white person has been shot by the police, not one. Right. Not one. You think the odds would be not one. So that is the reason they're shot, But can period. we blame that all on Giuliani? I was gonna say. I blame, under Giuliani, I blame the ones that were shot under Giuliani, which were the most, but by here, far. Okay. Well, here's Giuliani's quote about, he said today, what I said wasn't racism. It couldn't be because Obama had a white mother, a white grandfather. He went to white schools, and most of what he learned uh, was from whites. See, this is what the Republicans have against Obama. He's too white. Damn it. Yes. He is Damn. too white, yeah. this man. This is... Th <laughs> <laughs> this is a big problem for Scott Walker because he said these comments at a dinner where right. Scott Walker was trying to meet and greet with these potential donors. And what did Scott Walker do afterward? He didn't necessarily distance himself all that much. He was just like, oh, well, Giuliani is free to say how he thinks and what he feels, but I love America. And this isn't really denouncing what he said. And now you're having other potential GOP candidates kind of towing a similar line. Yeah, it, and it's a it, problem for all of them, really. I mean, no, none of them did it. a John... They, they agree well, with it. That's, the that's point right. is that they agree. It's, you yes. know, it's not that they, they are holding back their criticism. They right. have no criticisms. They <laughs> agree with this. Well, yes. part of the problem is, is they also have to get through a primary, but after that, if they do, they have to get through a general election. So this Which kind they of never do, and that's why. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It okay. is why. That, the big that problem is why they don't get to the general election. The problem they have is of... their primary and their general, right? It's always an issue for the conservatives. Yes, it because is... the lunatics vote in the primary and Americans vote in the general. <laughs> and that is why we don't have a Republican president. <laughs> it's pretty simple. And they, they don't like him because he went to Harvard. He was the editor of the Harvard Law Review. He is so much like right. that. 
that they resent it. Okay, here's what they Julie, resent. the other thing Giuliani said is that it wasn't racism. He said it's socialism or possibly anti-colonialism. Yeah, what is that? Yeah. I, first of we're all, we're the colony. I, 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 <laughs> yeah. We're the colony. Yes. We're, we're against uh, ourselves. Uh, <laughs> you can count the stars. Isn't colonialism bad? I thought we were all kind of on that page. Yeah. And now it's bad to be anti colonial yes. I, I don't understand that. But you're right. Who, what was George we, Washington fighting against? This, yeah. this, they're yeah. not talking about that colonialism. What are they talking they're, about? They're, ta they're talking about the anti-colonialism uh, of, uh, like, people, Africans, Indians, uh, you know, against Rhodesia. the British. That anti-colonialism. And that's bad? To, to them. <laughs> I'm explaining I them know. to you, not me to you. But it was the British <laughs> with us. I'm not in the Republican primary. I know. Okay? I, I understand, but but I, I... It was the British with us. We were the colonies to the British. He's not thinking back quite that far. But, okay. okay. He's but, stuck in the 50s. But, but, yes, yeah. But how, did, but how does someone get sucked into this vortex? I mean, you may think that he was a right-winger, and he was more than most, but he did get elected mayor of New York City. Not by me. Twice. Not by me. Not Unlike by Bloomberg, you. Unlike Bloomberg, who I had a chance to vote against three times. Right. <laughs> okay. Despite the two-term limits. Also, a flaming liberal compared to the rest of the Republican Party. My theory is that Rudy Giuliani has been out on the speaking circuit. That's how he makes his living. Okay, that's who you're talking to, is the Republican base. What gets the applause lines? Obama's a Kenyan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah red That's how you red become meat. a crazy yeah. person. I mean, Giuliani, the only time he's really been in the news the past few months is when he said things that were deemed kind of outrageous. He made that comment, I think it was in December, after the Eric Garner grand jury decision that white cops wouldn't be in black neighborhoods if black people weren't killing each other as much. And then I think in January he made some comment about Obama and de Blasio stoking anti-police hatred. I mean, this is now why he's getting in the news. It's not so much because he's a a big force in Giuliani. He also has politics. an infomercial. Have you seen this? But I agree with Who you. Who does? For Giuliani. He has an infomercial. For what? I don't watch the whole thing. I just see he has an infomercial. I flip. Okay. <laughs> but I, I agree with be... Fran that there's an undercurrent of, of racism that's always of course been there. It's an overcurrent. Well, and what, it's not an undercurrent. Yeah. It's out also, and out racism. Well, now but it's out there, there. There's something about this. I love America, in a way that you can't even understand. I don't. Yeah. I don't know what they want. Yeah. This, this idea, also this exceptionalism. I think that they're like the Oscar people. They want a trophy for best country, yeah. America, yeah. for the millionth yeah. year in a row. You're yeah. the best country. It's and he so cited childish. Ronald Reagan again which is always troubling for me. He what? Uh, Giuliani cited Ronald Reagan. Yes, he made, yes. Good old he said days. He made Americans um, optimistic again. Tripled the national again. debt. Yes. Yes. He made Americans optimistic again.